Hey, 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 welcome to TikTok Tuesday. Guess what else I recorded today along with TikTok Tuesday? A new video. That's right, an, like an actual real video. It's coming. I mean, hopefully you'll see it tomorrow as long as Dave gets the editing done. I mean, we'll see, we'll see. But dude, I broke the writer's block. I'm finally doing it again. It feels good, man. Let's hope I don't somehow destroy myself. But for now, things are going okay. Okay, let's see what we got today. Disgusting. I just went Disgusting. to the Taco Bell drive through because I'm a whore for Taco Bell. Yeah. And do you know how they greeted me? How? They said, hello, ma'am. You are, ma'am. And then after handing me my food, said, thank you, ma'am. Have a good day. Bitch, yeah? what, what about me says, ma'am? I have a fucking red mullet. Your voice. <laughs> your voice, dude. Your face. <laughs> Everything about you screams, ma'am. You, you're a tomboy, all right? Like, like I, oh, man, ugh. I hate to say it. I think I'm like 99% done with the non-binary thing. I know there's like a few people that it really does work for, but most of these people, they're just tomboys. They'd be tomboys back in the 90s and 2000s. No one would give a shit. There's a strange phenomenon now where like, if you're young, you're kind of like exploring the world, right? Like you're kind of like, you're, you're striking out on your own for your first time. You're developing your own like personality, your own sense of self. So maybe you're going to be like emo or going to be goth or maybe you're going to be like a scene kid or like, you know, this is how it was back in the day, right? You would just be like, well, you know, what works for me? I'm going to experiment with style. We're going to experiment with like ways of presenting and ways of like, like how, how am I going to be myself? And all these experimentations, it was kind of dumb and cringy, but like it's young kids, fine. You know, like, kids, sometimes 20 somethings, you know, they're, they're, they're doing whatever. They're figuring themselves out all completely normal, completely fine. However, there was this expectation that for most of them, not all of them, but most of them, they would grow out of it, all right? Most emo girls did not remain emo girls throughout high school and then throughout college and then into their 30s when they started having kids. Their styles changed as they got older. That's normal, that's natural. However, you can't say that it's like a stylistic choice that is gonna be uh, something you grow out of later because now it's not a stylistic choice, it's a gender. Now it's a gender and you're a bigot if you say, oh, oh you're, you're a tomboy, you might grow out of that. No, no, it's my gender now. I, 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 I fucking hate this shit. Like, it's so stupid. You are a girl. There is nothing masculine about you. You're not non-binary. Get over it. The caption here is, you guys, this TikTok filter keeps misgendering me. Look. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Aka. Let's go. Oh, it like no. makes it... No fucking way. No way. Oh, makes it an anime? Okay. Okay, we're gonna try this. Okay. Let's see. Hell no! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, let's try again. Okay. <laughs> Dude, that last one was me! The way that my, my, my like, SFO kind of avatar is drawn sometimes. Like, sometimes, sometimes it feels like that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really funny. It's, it's probably frustrating to be like a trans woman with like a masculine jaw, and then like the TikTok filter draws you as a man every time. That's frustrating, but it's also pretty funny, dude. Don't move! Ooh, there's a ninja. Yeah. Swear to God. <laughs> Swear to God, huh? <laughs> See, I knew this shit. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I think the funniest content on the internet nowadays isn't like this highly produced content from like, you know, corporate channels. It's just random people doing goofy shit like on their own and they're like in their houses or in their front lawns or whatever. It's always been that. It's always been the funniest stuff. It's always been the best stuff on the internet, dude. Oh, I've heard about this one. So this is like a leftist who confronts a um, a Christian protester over it's either abortion or it's trans stuff or it's something. But they try to rope in like a Muslim protester thinking that because they're Muslim, they're part of the progressive stack and they're going to join them. But it goes, okay, you just have to watch this. I, I've seen this before. Okay, let's go. This guy is trying to propagate anti-LGBTQ anti-LGBTQ yeah. propaganda. He's yeah. trying to tell children that they are not allowed to be trans. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, they're not. They're not. Suck, you. Suck your mom, bro. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no, yeah. No, yeah. No, they, <laughs> they agree, dude. They're Muslims. They agree. <laughs> yeah, you have to respect that decision. But in religion, yeah. But in some religion, yeah. some religions they accept that. But in our religion, you can't do that. So we, we don't... Um, he can't say anything against the brown religion because he'd be racist. Muslims win out in the progressive stack against the LGBTs. What do you identify as? What do you identify as? What do you identify as? Okay, 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 okay. You don't have a Listen, listen. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. What do you identify as? Yeah, he's like, I just gotta leave. I can't. 
Fucking cucked, dude. Cucked. Liberals were saying this shit. Real liberals, not like American, like leftist liberals. Real liberals were saying this shit like eight years ago. Like, don't bring in a bunch of people who are going to be anti-LGBT and expect them to side with you on your next progressive project. There is no solidarity there. They fucking hate you, dude. They hate your way of life. They think it's sinful. It's sodomy. It's all this. Shit. Like, they... No, they don't like this shit, man. The progressives abandoned liberalism and then, like, threw themselves to the wolves. No one deserves to die. Like, no one's saying anyone on the side deserves to die. You're all like, saying yes, that shit. You're saying they're all really colonizers. Fuck you. To do this. Like, I think, if not all of them, a large majority of them had to serve in the military at one point, and they're occupying Palestinian land, so yeah. So yeah, you just want to kill the Jews. Simple as that, right? I'm going to have to do a video, I think, on the Israel-Palestine thing. I mean, maybe not the entire history of the conflict. That's a very, very long history, to be honest. But just the recent reaction of, like, seeing so many leftists come out as Nazis. And we all knew. Those of us who, like, are in the center, we all knew they were Nazis deep down. We were waiting for them to show it. It took them, like, years, but they finally did show it. The good, moral, pro-working class left, that never actually existed. They're all just, like, bloodthirsty freaks. Let me correct myself real quick. Socialist. There are some good progressives. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a progressive, but there are some okay progressives. But, like, most socialists are just garbage. Well, what is she doing? Oh my god, she just, she just ruined everything. Get the fuck out, lady. Yep, you gotta fight her, dude. No more of this shoplifting, no more of this destroying places shit. Fuck you. You're not supposed to be recording. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Don't record. No, I'm recording. Dude, I record this shit, too. Oh. White trash because he's arresting you? Dude, fuck this bitch, man. She's getting what she deserves. Damn, I love Walmart. Oh my god. Is she possessed? No! Take me to jail! Fucking hell, dude. Oh my god. There might be another one that I have kind of saved up where it's like more, you know, more shoplifting or like fights in the, in the store kind of footage. See if I can find it real quick. Oh uh, yeah, here's the second half of it. Why? What do you mean racist? You're being arrested for trash in the store, you fucking moron. Dude, uh, Walmart is racist. Now I have more of an excuse to shop there. Okay, this this woman's fucking delusional, man. She's like, I I hate that we have actually gotten to this point where you have black people who act this ridiculously in public, and then shriek once they're like rightly stopped that Walmart is racist, or the cops are racist, or that you're racist, or that someone else is racist. It's like, shut the fuck up, lady. But yeah, here's the other one. I got a mute because it has some copyrighted music in it. It has like, we're not gonna take it. You know that song? Well, this guy's shoplifting here, right? And it's just, I think it's just random customers that are holding him back now. It's like, no, you don't. Everyone is tired of people shoplifting. They're tired of like the social fabric being frayed in their communities. They're tired of stores losing money and going out of business and closing up because they can't shop there anymore. Everyone's tired of this shit. And if the stores aren't gonna get involved and the cops aren't gonna get involved and the security isn't gonna get involved, now you have customers getting involved. I've been saying this for in like every TikTok Tuesday all year long. This is escalating and it's getting worse. These thieves are making things worse for themselves and for everyone. This is not a good situation. I feel like Hannah Montana. Yeah? Because how am I a hair salon receptionist? Yeah? And also playing EDC this month. Oh, dude. She's doing it. That's awesome. No, good for her. She made it. I guess she's just pissed that she also has to keep that day job right now, but I mean, that's a pretty big crowd. It seems like her, her career is growing. You know, the side hustle is working out. What's the problem? Oh, the person who sent me this sent along a uh, a tweet that was accompanying it. Let's take a look at it here. Okay, the per okay, the person who posted the video said, it's okay to have a day job to support your dream job. And then the actual girl in the video replied with, the comments on this shit is like goals and girl boss. I am not a girl boss. I am a victim to capitalism. I am drowning. It's a cry for help. Are you shitting me, lady? You're bitching because your dream job can't actually support you? Is that what you're bitching about? 
Do you think you'd be able to even have this dream job under any other economic system? The answer is no. The commissar would point the gun at you and say, dig the fucking holes. Or even more likely, get on your fucking back. Because that's how, that's how this shit works when you're not living in a capitalist society. I'm a victim to capitalism. Yeah, you mean the system that allows you to do this shit in the first place? Fuck you. All right? God, I, I hate the entitlement of these fucking people. Oh man, my side hustle isn't working out and I'm not the big fucking star that I thought I would be. Guess what? Keep working. Or not, or give up and bitch about it on the internet. Like, I don't fucking care. You are not drowning because you have to provide for yourself. You fucking child. All right, let's do one final short one to uh, to round the day off. Oh, dude. Oh, no. Oh, 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 the, oh, my God. Oh, the food, dude. Oh. I mean, there, there was music in that one, too, but oh. Oh. Uh, man, my soul just sunk. As soon as that happened. Oh, it's all its all gone. Well, that was kind of a downer to end it on, wasn't it? <laughs> Nothing bugs a fat guy more than losing all the food. Okay, listen, thanks for being here, everyone. Thanks for watching all the TikToks today. As I said, new video recorded. Hopefully you'll see it tomorrow. And of course, I'm streaming tonight, so I want you to uh, come by and say hi. I'll see you there. Have a good one, guys. I love you.